Hey guys, Tony from Boatronics here. I've been rigging these boats for 19 years and today I'm going to show you some awesome tips to help you uh, rig a boat so hopefully you do it right the first time. We're on a 31 fountain here and it's one of the hardest boats ever made to get into the bilge and access the pumps. So we want to do these pumps and float switches and whatnot one time and we don't want to go uh, back in that bilge for years to come. We're going to try to make it fun for you at the same time. Oh! 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 Oh God, I'm stuck! No, help me, help me! Get me out of here! <laughs> it starts with great components. We're going to use a Rule 2000 Gold Series bilge pump. This thing has a five-year warranty on it. It's a great pump. The float switch is where we usually see the biggest problems from. Everybody uses those old school floating switches that move up and down. This is a Johnson Digital float switch. They call it the Ultima switch. This thing has no moving parts. It's totally sealed. When installed properly, this thing will not go bad. It's a completely sealed unit. It's awesome. And it's about the same price as the old school ones. So there's really no use in, in using those old things that would get fouled easy. Water penetrates them, they don't last long. Um, so anyway, we got our gold pump here, and as you can see, it comes with some really long leads. One of the first mistakes I see people making is cutting these leads short, where they're not manageable, and when water permeates the connections, it whips right up the wires and kills the pump in no time. So we want to keep these wires long. To make them more manageable, we use the twist trick. We're going to take the pump and put it in our feet like that. And twist these bad boys up. So now we can bundle them up nice and neat, and these wires are going to stay together like that. The next big thing that I'm going to show you is the connections on these bilge pumps. This is the critical part. This is where they always fail at. This is where 90% of the problems with pumps and float switches come from. We only use anchor marine grade heat shrink butt connectors to make these connections. We only use the proper crimpers made by anchor to crimp these heat shrink connectors. The reason is these crimpers when they crimp down they don't put a hole in the installation. If you see your guy using these crimpers for, for heat shrink connections that's a no-no. I see it all the time. These crimpers put a hole in this insulation, so when you heat shrink it down, there's a hole in it, it lets all the corrosion in, and the connection goes to crap, and then in no time you're changing connections, your pumps go bad, whatever. So use the right crimpers, use the right crimps, heat shrink it down, and then finally, we're going to double protect ourselves by coating it with liquid electrical tape. I'm going to show you guys, we got our connections here ready to go. Uh, we've made our crimp with the proper uh, crimpers, we've heat shrink it down, and then we've put our coating of liquid electrical tape over the connection. Now we are ready to go into the bilge and install these pumps. And uh, I can't really show you that because we got to stand on our head to do it. No, you alright in there? You got it? Hey Tony, pass me the torch! 